Hi, welcome back to another edition of In the Kitchen with CCE. My name is Tara Kenyon and I'm a nutritionist here at Cornell Cooperative Extension of Broome County. We are here today in the commercial kitchen of the Broome County Regional Farmers Market. And all month long, our Broome County Regional Farmers Market is highlighting peaches as the item of the month. So we are making a recipe today using peaches, but we're going to do it in a savory way instead of a sweet way. We are making a roasted pork and peach crostini. So first, you need to get one pound of pork tenderloin. You can either buy one that is pre-marinated or if you want to marinate it overnight yourself, you could do it in a variety of ways. You could use soy sauce or teriyaki sauce. You could use different herbs, garlic powder. You could add a little honey or mustard, um, but definitely marinate it overnight. Um, we cooked our pork tenderloin in an air fryer. We put it in for um, 35 minutes at 350 degrees. You wanna make sure you let it set for 10 to 15 minutes so that all the juice can remain inside of the pork tenderloin to make it uh, that much more delicious for your crostini. Uh, the other ingredients that you are going to need are five New York State peaches. We have sliced these up thinly some arugula, and we have dressed this with a little olive oil and lemon juice and put it in the fridge for about an hour to two hours just so that the leaves can absorb the um, citrus and the oil. We have four ounces of goat cheese, one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and one and a half tablespoons of honey. And I've already whisked that together so it's blended nice and smooth. And just a little bit of salt and pepper. Next are crostini. You can um, purchase some whole grain crostini that's already pre-made, or you could make some yourself. We took fresh bread and cut it, sliced it thinly, put a little olive oil on top, and put it in the oven at 300 degrees for about five to seven minutes just to make it crunchy. If you wanted, instead of a crostini, you could always use a toasted uh, pita bread. So, to begin, we have our crostini made already and we have the pork tenderloin cooked, so we need to prepare the peaches. So you can put the five peaches in a saucepan over medium heat and you're going to add the mixture of apple cider vinegar and honey and the salt and pepper. Now you're gonna wanna cook this down until the peaches are nice and soft. This could take you around 10 minutes or so. So keep an eye and make sure that they're not too soft, but that they are still cooked well through. So when you are finished, your peaches might look something like this. And now you have everything you need to build the crostini. First, we're going to take the pieces of crostini and we're going to put a little bit of goat cheese on the bottom. If you were not a fan of goat cheese, you can um, use feta. There's a lot of uh, different ways that you could make adjustments to this recipe. Um, if you didn't like our featured ingredient of peaches, you could always do it with apples. If you didn't like arugula, you could use a different green, maybe spinach or kale. And then of course, if you don't want to use the um, fresh bread crostinis, you could try a pita bread or even a naan bread. So once we've smeared the goat cheese on the bottom, you're going to take a slice of your pork tenderloin, place it on top, and then 
we will top it with our peach mixture and our arugula salad. So the recipe that we're making here today can make you about 40 small servings. So this is a great recipe to take to um, a party this summer as an appetizer. Of course, you can make it more into a meal depending on how much um, toppings you want to use or how large of the slices of bread you want to use. So this is a really great summer dish. Once we've topped it with peaches, we'll add just a little bit of the arugula salad. This dish has all of the five food groups. You can get some whole grains in um, the crostini. You get uh, protein in your pork tenderloin, dairy in your goat cheese, uh, fruit in your peaches, and vegetables with your arugula salad. And it has um, all of the different flavors that uh, will be appealing to your taste. You've got the crunch from the crostini, the creaminess of the goat cheese, the sweetness of the peaches, and the tanginess, bitterness of the um, arugula salad that's with, with the lemon juice, and there's some apple cider vinegar in there, and of course the savoriness of the pork tenderloin. Peaches are a very nutrient-dense uh, fruit. They're high in vitamin A, vitamin C, and potassium. They are full of fiber, which will help keep you full longer and more satisfied. Um, vitamin A is great for your eye health and your skin. Vitamin C is great for your immune system. Potassium is great to keep your heart healthy and help regulate your blood pressure. Uh, almost all of these ingredients are items that you can pick up here at the Broome County Regional Farmers Market. We're open year round every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And peaches are harvest July through September. So come on down and get everything you need to make the roasted pork and peach crostini. Thank you, see you next time on In the Kitchen with CCE.